Assalamualaikum. New Ikra School and College. Starting with the name of Almighty Allah, the most merciful and beneficial. This is your science book, Grade Four, and today we will start the chapter. Unit number four: Living things and their environment. And page number thirty. So, what is living things? Are you living thing? You can grow, yes. So it means that living things are that which can take breath, can grow, can reproduce, and can eat. These are called living things, and how they are live in their environment. So what is environment mean? Do you know about the environment? Yes, we know about the environment. All living things live in an environment. So, an environment is everything around a living thing. It means that we are living where our surrounding is called our environment. In the picture, turn the page and see the diagram. Here is a polar bear and here is a duck. The environment of the polar bear is colder than the environment of the duck. It means that the polar bear cannot live in water and, and the duck cannot live in the ice or in the cold places. It's the environment. Think for a minute that if the polar bear come in our class, so the polar bear can study with us? No. Can we live in ice? No. So it means that the environment of living thing is changed from one another. The another example of environment is plants. You can see the plants around us. The different types of plants can grow in different places. You can see the flowers in garden. But you can see the trees around us in the, in the cities areas also. You can see the fruits plants in the plants area. Have you seen the banana plant or mango or apple plant in the, on the roads? No. So, the environment of the plant is also changed from one another. The third example is the human being. Human beings are the environment of the human beings are different from the plants or animals. Have you seen the cars around the uh, human beings? Yes. Have you seen the factories? Yes. Have you seen the houses? So, the human being environment is different from animals. Now, I want to ask a question from you if you will know about it so does you live without your parents without your mother and father in the forests no you cannot who will give you the cloths if you have a cloth so how many days you can stay in the forest now what is an environment come to the topic everything on the earth is either living or non-living the non-living part of the earth is made up of rocks soil water and sunlight so it was our topic of the day that living things and their environment i hope that you will you have understand that what is environment and how the living things adopt their environment we will learn 
about the biosphere and about the water air light and the adaptation of living things in the next video for today allah face